Let's go to Matthew chapter 6, verse 9 and 10. I want you to see it, take the notes, and, and like I said, uh, my spirit is so um, uh, rise up. I mean, it's like I, I feel something in me. In this manner, therefore, pray ye. In Spanish and English, it's just saying, I want you to use this Ava Padre prayer as a pattern. Lift your hands and say, pattern. Lift your hands. Hey, come on. Let's this manner pray this man. In other words, this is the way not for you to repeat as vain repetition, but do it as a pattern for you to pray every day. Lift your hands and say every day. Our Father who art in heaven, hallow, one, number one, hallowed be thy name. Go, go, go. Thy kingdom come. Thy will be done as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread and then forgives our debts as we forgive our debtors. Keep going. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine, lift your hand and say, thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Repeat it again. Thine is the kingdom. Let's do it in English right. Yours is the kingdom and the power and the glory. Say it louder again. Power and the glory. Okay, that's the Ava Padre prayer. I want you to write it down, please. And I want you to see the eight steps. Come on quickly. The eight steps of the Ava Father prayer. You're going to see it. How this Ava Padre prayer is, is broken down. It's breaking down. So you see, our Father that is in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, the will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us our daily bread. You see eight steps in the Ava Father prayer. And in each step, what you do, you can take pictures if you want. Um, you ch I will charge you for it. <laughs> Okay, you can take, um, you see, I want you to look at me, please, very carefully. How many of you, I want you to see how many believers have what, how they behaving when it comes to prayer every day. That type of prayer is our pattern or guidance to pray every day. So I want you to see some statistics, and then we come back to that. I want you to see some statistics. Uh, a, a Pew a Forum Research study shows that only 59% of Christians who go to church weekly pray every day. That means since 61, we're not going to go in the rapture. Because if you don't have prayer life, prayer is the mean to have a relationship with God. Okay, lift your hands and say, prayer is the mean by which I develop relationship with God. I say it again. So now, according to the study of Barna, 59%, only 59 of you, not, not here because everybody here, how many of you have a prayer life at least one hour every day? I want to see your hands. I want to see your hands. One hour every day, at least. If you don't pray one hour every day, I don't think you have a relationship with God because in 30 minutes you can't do anything. Are you comprehending what I'm saying? So now, and then he said, Christian, go to church only or those that go twice a month. And then he said, uh, weekly every day. And then he said, of those who go once or twice a month, only 30% 30, 30 pray daily. It goes down and down. According to the study by Barna Group, 35% of Christians say they pray at least once in the last three months. Do you believe can you change things in your life? Do you believe you can receive miracles in your life? Do you believe without prayer life, can you know God? Do you believe that you can change things in your spirit? Or how can you receive things from God, those that are watching, if you don't have a prayer life? I'm going to say it again. Prayer is the mean. It's the way to develop a relationship with your Father. Can I hear an amen on that? 
So in other words, no prayer, no relationship. If you don't have no prayer life, you don't have no relationship with God. So then he said, 13%, then 94% of the Christians say they pray at least once in the last three months. 82% inwardly with when alone, inwardly. There's no such a thing with inwardly. You have to speak. You have to talk. And said, yeah, there's a moment of silence in the presence. That's another type of prayer. Yes, but I don't, usually it's not that long. Lift your hand and say, amen, Lord, I, I need to pray. So 2%, in other words, a person, what, what he's saying is, is very bad. Prayer life, and God has given us this avapada prayer for us to uh, develop that prayer life every single day. Lift your hand to say, daily. And then he said, I'm going to give you this, uh, um, this matter, this way, this is a pattern. Let's go back, please. And then he said, uh, we go, I want you to go and pray. And then I'm going to show you how to do it. He said, our Father that is in heaven, I come to my prayer life. I want you to see me, please. How do I do it? Okay, I just come and say, our Father that is in heaven. No, you come to God and approach to God in a very respectful way. When I come every morning, I just lift my hands and I say, Father, thank you for this day. I worship you and I honor you. You are my Father and I come to you knowing, Lord, that you want to hear my prayers. But listen, look at me. But I just don't start praying and asking questions or asking things with a list of things. So I just do this. I say, God, if there's any iniquity in me. There's any sin in me. I ask you to cleanse me and wash me with your blood. And I repent of any sin. I repent. How many of you sin daily? Amen. Not like a lifestyle, but I'm saying you make mistakes. Can I hear an amen? amen. Okay. And then I say, Father, I repent of any sin. I want to come to you and I want all my prayers to be answered. So I want to remove any, anything that is an obstacle for you to, to pray, for you to answer all my prayers. Can I hear an amen on that? So that's the first thing I do. I say, Father, I come to you. I worship you and I honor you. That's the first word that comes out from my mouth. I worship you, Lord, and I honor you. And I thank you, my Lord. The moment I say that and I say, God, and I come to you in the name of Jesus and I ask you today, Lord, to forgive me. If there's any sin in my life, there's any uh, iniquity in my life, there's anything twisted in me, I ask you to remove it. And then I say, Lord, now, look at me, please. Look, and I say, Lord, now the channels are clear to come to you into your presence. Knowing God, yeah, you're going to hear my prayer. There's no obstacle. Father, I forgive any person that I offended. And Father, and I receive forgiveness and I release forgiveness those that wanted to uh, those father that <laughs> okay kid okay. So that's the first Abba Father prayer. So when I come to say Abba Father, I already repented. I already cleared the way for me to enter in his presence. The Bible says come to his presence boldly to the throne of grace. No, I don't talk into Christian now. Come to his presence boldly to the corner of grace. I don't come to God saying, okay, I'm going to the Father, our Father. Now I'm approaching to my Father. He is my Father. Our Father is the life source, the originator. So I say, Father, I come to you. You are the originator of all things, invisible and visible. Father, you are my source, life source. I, all things come to you. And I thank you. I take time to honor him as you do. And now, Father, I come to you, and I, uh, you, my source, you, my life. I recognize you as my source. Man is not my source. My job is not a source. My business is not my source. Lift your hand, come on, Father, in the name of Jesus. I, you, my Father, I'm your son, and Father, as a son, I have rights. I have privileges. I have rights. And Father, I thank you. And Father, I honor you. I thank you. I come to you. I honor you with my obedience. I honor you with my finances. I honor you with my mouth. I declare I don't have nothing to complain today. The only thing I have is just to thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I want to see your hands. Don't look at me and honor your father. Every moment you have an opportunity.
opportunity to honor your papa lift your hands and honor him father this week has been tough oh father i at this big i feel weak i don't want to pray i feel my flesh don't want to pray but holy spirit i want you to help me to pray i don't know lift your hands come on i don't know how to pray and father a father that is in heaven i honor you i worship you with my obedience with my finances i honor you you're my papa i'm your son i have privileges i have right and i thank you lord and i honor you that's what i do every day sit down lift your hands and say abba father i can hear you that expression denotes that there is a relationship between the father and the son You're not praying as a friend. You're not praying as a servant. You're not praying as a, uh, you are praying as a son and as a daughter. Lift your hand and say, son and daughter. So and then he said, hallowed be thy name. In other words, that's the second thing I do. I repent and then I honor him. And I say, Lord, if I haven't honored you with my finances, I repent. If I have not honored you with my obedience, I repent. How many times you told me about something and I haven't done it? I repent. And then he said, hallowed be thy name. They are hallowed be thy name. Guys, you need to, the militant of God has to come out of you. It's just hallow, just passive. Come on, lift your hands and say, hallowed be thy name. What hallow means? Honor be thy name. Honor means honor three ways. Finances, obedience, and with my mouth. And I say, God, today I present my body as a living sacrifice. And I honor you with my finances. I honor you with my obedience. I honor you with my mouth. And Father, I I worship you. How many of you are thankful to the Lord? Oh, so you said that. And then you said, you can, then you said, thy kingdom come. Come on, let's go. Come on, lift your hands. That expression has so much power. That expression. Why do you have to pray every single day to honor God? And then you said, and then you say, thy kingdom come. Kingdom cannot come unless the Father is honored. So ask yourself, have I honored my Father with obedience? Have I honored my Father doing His will? Have I honored my Father, honor Him with my finances? Once you do that, you can pray, thy kingdom come. There's no, there's no kingdom coming unless there's honor to the Father. So he said, the word kingdom is government. Say, let your government, lift your hands and say, let your covenant come. I can hear you. Louder. Let your covenant come. In other words, now you have legal right to pray for the government come. Because you have a relationship with God the Father. And then you honor Him. You submit to His will. You obedience to Him. Now you can say, thy kingdom come. Otherwise, before that, you have sin in your life. You don't, you don't, you don't just, you know, wish you watch a Christian. You, you can't let the kingdom come. Why do we need to pray for kingdom to come every day? Why do we need to pray that prayer every single day? Why? Why, please? The reason, and I want you to write it down. The reason, the government, the word kingdom is the word government. Lift your hands and say, let your government come. I I can't hear you. Why the government of God? Because we need to pray for the government to come because the only way to deal with the Satan's government is for the government of God to come. There has to be another government in order to remove the government of Satan. Otherwise, we can't pray. So that's the reason we pray for the kingdom to come. So he said, let your government of God come. In other words, what type of government? It's not what I see. There's a government office here in front of the church. Immigration offices over here in front of the church. So it doesn't mean that's the government. That's visible government. The government that I'm talking about is the government of God. It's an invisible government of God. The ruling reigns through us. 
I don't think you'll destroy. Thy kingdom come. Lift your hands and say, Thy kingdom come. Okay, let's do two things. And this is power. Lift your hands and say, Let your kingdom come. So the king, the king, the kingdom, what is the kingdom? Why we need to pray the kingdom come? To deal with Satan. And number two is to establish order. And number three, the kingdom come is because we need expansion every day. The Abba Father prayer is established on expansion. Lift your hands and say expansion. See, the church lost the vision for expansion. Are you happy with what you have or you want expansion? One, two, three, the rest of expansion. Aquí. Do you want expansion in your business? Do you want expansion in your spiritual life? Do you want expansion in your prayer life? Do you want you want expansion? So I say, Father, let your kingdom come. Let the government of God come. Let the invisible government of God come. Oh yes, say God. So the 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 the, 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 the government of God is the, the invisible. Write it down. What is the government of God? The government of God is the invisible government of God that lives in us through the Holy Spirit. Luke 17, 21. In other words, Jesus said the government of God or the kingdom of God is not a physical place. It lives inside of you by the Holy Spirit. In other words, wherever you go, if you have the Holy Spirit, you have power and authority to establish the kingdom of God. Lift your hand. In other words, don't look for a physical thing. Wherever you go, you bring in heaven on earth. Where there's depression, you bring healing. Where there's a Where's the sickness? You bring healing. Where there's oppression, you bring... Oh, yeah. lift your hands and say, I bring the kingdom down. Okay, so all the, our Father prayer, write it down, is based on expansion. You need to pray every day because you're never going to expand. <laughs> Because the kingdom is about expansion. Your spiritual life, every area of your life. So neither shall say, there you go, here it is. It is there, behold, the kingdom of God is within you by the Holy Spirit. Lift your hands and say it. Say, the kingdom of God is within me by the Holy Spirit. You can say better than that. Thank you, Lord. Okay, there you go. Are you ready? Musicians, are you ready? So, and then he said, who is the king? In this kingdom, in this government, we need to pray every single day because the kingdom of God is in a mode of expansion. Is in a mode of expansion. It's always expanding. Always expanding. Those that are watching by the internet, God is talking to you. You, you, you stagnate. You're not moving. You're not moving forward. So today, the kingdom, is, we need to pray. Every single pray, every single day, I pray for expansion. I say, Father, expand my spirit. Expand my spiritual life. Expand my house. Expand the territory. Give me a new territory, God. Come on, lift your hands out. Everybody, lift your hands and say, let your kingdom come.